Hello, this is the second devlog of an untitled 2D platformer game that I'm currently working on. Like I mentioned before in the previous devlog, my goal is to make a game that teaches you a language, so it's educational, but I'm also trying to make it as fun and engaging like normal non-educational games. So I came back from Sydney from the Easter holidays and returned back to Tasmania. I caught up with some teaching and research at the school for a couple of days. Then I packed my bag and went to Coles Bay, which is around a two and a half hour drive from where I live. I will be staying here in this house up in the mountains for one week and continue to work on my game while I relax, have some fresh air and enjoy the peaceful nature. My job and schoolwork can all be done online, so it doesn't really matter where I am. So I thought it would be a good idea to change my environment and work here, hoping that it can be relaxing. So I started to build the scene with the artwork I made. I don't have a story for the game yet, but when I was doing the artwork, I think I had some kind of mysterious planet kind of feeling, so I'll just go with that for now. I put together simple player mechanics into a black block, things like basic player movement and jumping, and I also made some other game objects like the ground, platforms, and parallaxing backgrounds with simple shapes. And after getting all the code working, I just started to swap the game objects with my artwork. I made it sound very easy, but I basically had to rebuild the scene again, replacing all the game objects and copying all the components one by one. While I was doing that, I had to fix a lot of big and small problems along the way. For example, since the size of the game objects changed, I had to redo the camera movement. And it was difficult to fix all the small glitches that appeared when the player moves in a certain way. And a lot of the sprites from Photoshop were breaking up for some reason or giving some weird outline kind of thing. But I didn't want to spend too much time on these fixes because I just had to let them go for now and just move on. By the way, I still couldn't find a solution for this particular problem that occurs around glowing sprites. So if you know how to fix it, please let me know in the comments. I kind of regret not making the artwork all white so that I can reuse them in different levels, putting a different color on them with a script or something, but I'll fix it after I build my prototype and start making more levels. I was happy with the new scene. I still had a square as the player and I have no idea how I'm going to replace that yet, but I will have to design a character and also think about how to animate it. So that sounds like a lot of work, but I'll get to that problem a bit later after doing the Mount Amos climb, which is a hiking trail in Freycinet National Park. So I will continue making the game after I come back. The Mount Amos climb was actually unsuccessful. I was too scared to climb the rocks in my slippery runners, so I had to head back down halfway. But it was pretty good to walk around in the mountains with a good view. And I also stopped by at a marine farm and had some fresh seafood, which is one of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling the Tasmanian East Coast. So going back to the game, it's finally time to do something about that ugly little black square. I had some characters in mind, and to keep the game small, I'm going for keywords like simple, cute, and bouncy. So simple would be something like a silhouette character, like a stick man, but it also has to be cute, so it should be something like a chubby stick man. So I drew some ideas with chubby stick man in mind, and finally decided on this one. I moved this little fella to Photoshop and started drawing out the sprites for each body part. I also put a cute cape on it so that it's not too boring, but when I moved the character into the game and started editing the bones, I took the cape out because I really liked it but it had to go. I, I had a feeling it would take too much of my time to handle it for the, all the animations and I just had a feeling that it's going to cause a lot of problems. So after editing the bones and the mesh, I first animated a little standing position, just, just a very simple breathing action. And I shouldn't be doing this, but I couldn't resist, so I put a little cute head scratching animation too. 
I was about to make the blinking animations, but I forced myself to move on to the next animation, uh, which is the running animation. It took a lot of time to get the right movement that looks natural. I first got the player to bounce up and down. And then after that, I tried to add the running animations. But even though I tried to copy the running cycles I saw on Google Images, it just needed a lot of further adjusting because I wanted to get a, a cute, energetic, bouncy look, but it just kept on looking like as if it just robbed a bank and it's trying to run away. I just had to adjust the movements little by little to just get rid of that sneaky running. And one more thing that was challenging was to make it look like it's running on two legs, not one. Because this character only has one color, I had to do that with only the movements itself, and that was a little challenging for me. But I think I managed to do it by making the pose for each left and right leg to be clearly different. So these two frames are supposed to be the same pose, but I tried to make them look different as possible by keeping in mind which leg is at the front and which is at the back, and decided how much I would need to extend the bones. So today I added some more animations. Right now when the player jumps, it just keeps on running in the air. So I made a jumping animation and also a fall animation so that the character has a different pose when it's jumping up and falling. So when the player is in the air and moving upwards, it would have this dynamic hand waving animation. And when the player is in the air, but it's moving downwards, then it will look down and gather its legs to prepare for landing. I'm just making the basic animations for now, but I think I'll be adding detail later into the development, but I couldn't resist. I just had to do the blinking animations. So there we go. I'm not sure if I made enough progress with my game while I was here, but I definitely had a good time. I would have stayed here another week, but after seeing a huge spider in the living room and a pretty long centipede in the bathroom, um, I decided to just make it a week and prepared to head back home. This was a pretty special trip for me because I'm always busy and anxious about work or life or just, just about anything. And I'm trying to learn how to be more okay about just being not so productive sometimes and relax. I hope this little project can help me do that. Thanks so much for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next devlog. Bye bye.